one of my favorite things about Buddy is the way that he raises money for his campaign. He only accepts donations of a maximum of $100 so that nobody can own him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Buddy Romer. Oh, you brave and motley crew. My God. You know, I was in Congress for eight years here looking down this mall, and I swear they had weather like this. They'd give congressmen a bonus and increase their medical benefits. Is this country ridiculous? Uh, you know, long ago, I ran for office in Louisiana, a corrupt state if there ever was one. I mean, we had a governor who used to brag at taking cash only in campaigns. He used to sell jobs while he was in office. And he said, buddy, it's not illegal. I just pay my taxes on it. That's what corruption does. Louisiana, when I ran for governor, by the way, I'm the only guy running for president that's been a congressman and a governor. I'm the only guy running for president that takes no PAC money, will not allow a super PAC. I'm the only guy running for president that has a $100 limit. Now, maybe that's why you never heard of me, okay? Uh, I know money's important to politics. I want it, but here's my pledge. Here's my pledge. My average contribution is $64.45. I've gotten it from every state in America. I live in New Hampshire now, and I'm taking it to the Republican Party. Now, I'm a proud Republican, but I'm a prouder American. And I think this country, I think this country's in trouble, and people ask me all the time, what in one word is the problem with America? And I'll give it to you. It's corruption. It's corrupt when a big corporation can give $4.3 million to the Democrats and Republicans and pay no taxes. You know who did that? GE. They were the largest corporate contributor to the politicians four years ago. You know who the second largest was? Goldman Sachs. And I watch him. I mean, I watch President Obama come to office with hope, and it's the same old Thing, except he just raised the stakes. It's a billion dollars now, and most of it comes from Wall Street and the big corporations. You know, I'm the only candidate that went down to Occupy Wall Street a couple of weeks ago. I didn't give a speech. I didn't give a speech. It wasn't about me. I went to listen. I believe in young people. I believe in America, and I think these dead gum politicians ought to get off their high horse and listen to the American people. You, you are here today because you know we need campaign reform. You know it. You are here today because we need term limits in Congress, and you know it. You're here today because you know we need to do reapportionment fairly and equally. You're here today because you know this country can do better than it's doing now. My issue is jobs. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a politician. I hadn't been in office in 20 years. I've been building small Main Street banks across the South. We put people to work. We didn't take any bailout money. We don't take any checks of that sort. We stand up for our companies. We have not foreclosed on a single homeowner. And our bank, our bank is nearly a billion dollars in size. And I watch Wall Street, too big to fail. I watch the capital ratios go down. I watch Glass-Steagall be defeated by Bill Clinton and the Republican Party in Washington. It's Democrats and Republicans. They are bought and sold. Now, here's what we need to do. We need to stand up for jobs and our fellow Americans. We need to start thinking about made in America. My wife and I have looked for two months to get me a wardrobe that's made in America. 
We're, st we're getting closer, but we're not there yet. I think everything I have on except my tennis shoes were made in America, okay? I'm asking you to stand up for reform. I'm asking you to hold both parties to high standards. I'm asking you to do something that most of you have never done. Get on my website. It's buddyromer.com. Get on there and send me $5 or $10 or $15. I'm the only guy running who's never had a fundraiser. I need a million people to stand with me. Final story. Can we win? It's the only way to win. I ran for governor of Louisiana against Edwin Edwards. You remember him? He just got out of the penitentiary. It's true. I hate to say this. I ran with limits and full disclosure. And they laughed at me in all the debates. They said, all oh, Buddy Romer went to Harvard when he was 16. All oh, Buddy Romer has his master's degree from the Harvard Business School. All oh, Buddy Romer's a good jobs guy, but he can't win. They laughed at me. I won that election. Edward spent $16 million. I barely raised $1 million from people like you. It can be done. I watched Herman Cain go from 3% to 35% in four days. He's been on nine debates. I haven't been in a single debate. Someday, somewhere, somehow, I'll get on one of these Republican debates, and we will turn this election around. And when I do... I'll be thinking of you. You are my team. I am your team. Together, we can turn this country around. Thank you very much.